We want to go back to this breaking news that we have been following. Lydell Grant convicted of murder, now walking out of jail. Let's listen in. Podina, man, you hear me? Hey, man, Mr. Make It Happen. He made it happen, and it was God. It was the Lord up in him that gave him the strength to travel up and down them highways and came and see me and kept giving me hope when I didn't have hope. How big is it feeling to hold your mom right now? Man, y'all just don't know. My mama is my world. I love my mama to death, and she held on, and she deserved it all. Man, I, I mean, this is my mother. I love her. And he always keeps saying about God, God, God. He says some people don't know God is all they need until God is all they got. Exactly. So that's what he held on to. I held on to it. Yeah. What's the yeah. lesson yeah. here? Well, the lesson here is, <laughs> man. Never give up. Never give up. You can't, you can't, you can't. I mean, you got to hope. If you know for a fact that you are innocent of any crime that you are allegedly to have committed, the thing is never give up and trust in God. That's the lesson. But it's not about me. I don't want y'all to think that it's about me because it's not. It's a message within the situation that I'm in. It's a message from God. To those who don't have hope when they're at the bottom, all you got to do is just look up because he's looking down. God is good. Hey, Lundell, is did you know Aaron, and what do you hope for as far as justice in this case? Well, I hope that the killer be apprehended, for, for one. Uh, I never knew Aaron, never seen him a day in my life, never had any encounter with him. But the justice system, the district attorney's office, the prosecutor, she painted a big, big picture for the jury, and they believed her lies, and they convicted me wrongfully. What do you have to say to those people who, who sent you to prison for life? I don't have no bitter in my heart for them. Forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. Amen. Forgive them. I forgive them. That's the advantage that I, that I have over a lot of people. Uh, I know how to forgive and I know how to love. But I don't have no bit, no bitterness in my heart for none of the prosecutors. I just, I just want people to realize that you have salty people up in the seats up in the Harris County District uh, Attorney's Office. Tell us about the fight you put up for yourself. You started writing uh, the Innocence Project of Texas in 2015. What were you saying? How how adamant were you about getting your case to them? I mean, I really put my heart into it. I, I, I made, I wrote heartfelt letters to the Innocent Project. It wasn't just the Innocent Project of Texas. I wrote everybody really pretty much that I thought about, even publications, uh, tele, uh, television stations. I mean, I wrote everybody that I could, churches, and everybody ignored my letters, but an old dude told me, he said, Lydell, it don't cost nothing but a stamp. So I wrote everybody that I could, and guess what? God sent my help through the Innocent Project of Texas, and I thank Michael Logan Ware for just reaching out to me when, I, when he heard my cry. Amen. And he went to work. He went to work. Michael Ware went to work, man. Michael Ware, it's not over. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over, but you got to understand, revenge is not mine. Said the Lord, he will fight my battles, and God is going to fight my battles. There may be other men who are in the same situation as you. What advice would you give to them if they could hear you right now? Well, write to whoever you can. Uh, don't spend your time up in here playing dominoes. Don't spend your time up in here playing chess. Don't spend your time up in here having, you. I mean, useless conversation. Get into the law library. Write anybody that you can. It don't cost nothing but a stamp. If you're actually innocent or if you're innocent of any kind of All right, of you've been listening to Lydell Grant right, here right, uh, being right, ecstatic right. and yeah, understatement right. here. After seven yeah. years in prison, he is finally out. Here's the backstory on him. If you haven't been following this, he was convicted for the murder of a 28-year-old man near a Montrose nightclub seven years ago. He's been behind bars ever since, but DNA evidence has finally cleared him from the case and eliminated him as a suspect. You can hear him talking now before reporters, his mother standing right there by his side. Both very happy. It's been a long time coming in and some great work. Again, as you heard him talking about, it was the Innocence Project of Texas there that he'd been writing letters to and helped clear him from this case. Just an incredible outlook and an incredible story that we will continue to follow for you.